Today's video is something of that is of a very sensitive topic to a lot of people and that is how poor English is killing chances of your promotions. Now if you have been on the corporate ladder for a while you might have noticed that speaking good English is important especially in any industry that requires client servicing or uh, deals with foreign clients and so on and so forth. You might notice that if you do not know good English you might not have great chances at moving up the career ladder and at promotions and moving into the leadership and in this video we're going to discuss why exactly that happens and why you should focus on improving your spoken English. First sense of becoming is that poor communication skills leads to a lot of misrepresentations and misunderstandings people and if you are the person who is unable to understand directions or you are not able to provide directions to either your team, your supervisors or the clients that will lead to a lot of inefficiencies and delays and those delays and inefficiencies can also have a severe financial loss to the company and if that is happening because of you, you it won't be long before you either be demoted or would be fired from the job or at the very least if none of that is happening you would not be considered as an ideal candidate for to the promotion because a person who is consistently causing losses to the company will not be considered as an ideal candidate to go for the promotion. So that's the first important part, how poor communication leads to misunderstanding which leads to poor efficiency which is costing your promotion. Second is professional image. Now for reasons good and bad, speaking fluent English has become synonymous with being having a certain amount of class, culture and education. It may not necessarily be true in the real sense but there is a perception among people that you are more educated and more exposed and more experienced if you are able to articulate well yourself in good English. And I do not want to get into the reasons of why it's the right thing or the wrong. Nonetheless, it happens and it's in your best interest to be able to understand and accept this fact and start focusing on the English because when it comes to using good English, you are able to make better impression to a lot of different people. Uh, may it be executive team, may it be foreign clients, may it be your own team who are juniors who might look up to you. And it also matters because if they are come from a different language than, than you speak in your vernacular or the mother tongue, then English is only the real language where you can connect and create a professional impact. Third answer becoming is the client and stakeholder relationships. Now if you are in a client based industry or a service industry, then you will have to service a lot of clients and clients are paying you the money so you have to act according to their needs and their wishes. And if they are high paying clients, there's a good chance they would want you to deal in uh, good English because that is something they use a lot in their day to day lives. And if you want to be able to manage these clients, provide them with good service, provide them with good value, provide them with good experience and exposure. Uh, then you would need to be able to have good English and if you're not able to do that for your clients your company is going to not be able to derive that much value out of you and they will feel like they would want to give a chance to a person who can service these clients and also at the same time able to retain those customers in case they are facing any challenge or they feel that they are not happy with their service. So if you're in a service based industry maintaining client and stakeholder relationship is also very important. Finally, fourth one is a leadership potential. Uh, we discussed in the second point that how being able to add speaking in good fluent English leads to a good positive impression in terms of the management people. And that's partly because a lot of premier news outlets in the country, both, tele both the television oriented as well as the publication oriented are in English. And leadership continuously go into on these forums and speak. They go to meetings, they go to conferences, they go to panel discussions, they go to uh, press conferences, a lot of which happens in English and if you are not able to articulate well yourself in English then it's not going to reflect well onto you and your career and your leadership potential. It's going to cost you your chances to move up the career ladder. So here are the four reasons why being able to speak in fluent English is so important for your career and if you are not able to do that, you are actively killing chances at promotions. So I would highly encourage you regardless of your sentiments around the English get started and start focusing on how you can improve spoken English. Thank you.